the people of innovation, they will lie about the people of the Sunnah because they don't have the Haqq. The one who does not have the truth, the one who is starved of the truth, has to, he craves for the lies. The one that is starved of the truth will crave for lies, will hunt for lies, will look for lies. That's why the people of the Sunnah, we don't lie. We don't lie against the Murjia, we don't lie against the Jahmiya, we don't lie against the Khawarij. We don't lie against the Sufis, we don't lie against the Jahmiya, we don't lie against the Ikhwan, we don't lie against anyone. We mention what you believe from your books, from your statements. And we mention your opposition to the people of the Sunnah. We mention your opposition to the Quran and the Sunnah. We mention your opposition to the methodology of Abu Bakr, the methodology of Umar, the methodology of Uthman, the methodology of Ali, the methodology of the Ashar Mubashirin Abil Jannah, the ten that have been promised paradise. We mention your opposition to the methodology of Ahl Badr, from those who bide in fought in Badr, Uhud. The companions of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we mention your opposition to them, the opposition to the Tabi'een and the Atwa Tabi'een. But the people of Bid'ah, they lie. It's from the main characteristics of the Bid'ah is that they lie. Why not? They lie against Allah and His Messenger by adopting methodologies that Allah did not reveal. They're lying upon Allah, they're lying upon the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so why should we be safe from their lies? Why should we feel safe? From their lies. They will lie against Ahl Sunnah. So it's important for us to have ilm knowledge. So we can distinguish between the, the truth and falsehood. And from the distinguishing characteristics of the people of Bid'ah is making false, vile names and labels for the people of the Sunnah in order to push the people away from the truth.